we have our first live guest standing by. It's Friday. That means it's time to say hello to local film critic Dale Pollack. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Audrey, Jackie, and Brian. Great to be with you. Good to see you. you. Too. All right. So up first, we have Love Lies Bleeding. What is this? It's a very interesting <laughs> title. Well, the title is deceptive because the movie is about love. I'm not sure about the lying bleeding, although <laughs> this is one film that you should leave in the gutter. Ooh. Uh, I, I, it's one of the worst films I've seen this year, and it's particularly disappointing because the first half is pretty good. It's what we call a neo-noir. The noir films came out after World War II. They were urban. They were gritty. They were often very dark. This reminds me of another neo-noir called Bound that came out several years ago. The attraction here is it's a lesbian uh, affair that kicks all this off. But whatever is good in the first half is lost in the second half. Chaos erupts. I had no idea what was going on in the movie. Was it really the same film I started out with? And you know, you have Mikhail Baryshnikov, the famous Russian ballet dancer. His daughter is in this. They make her a bodybuilder, and at some point her body starts to change, and it's just deeply disturbing for no good dramatic reason. So this is one of the worst films I've seen this year. Brian, I know you were waiting for a one popcorn rating. I'm finally giving it to you. Oh this my is gosh. A Avoid it in the theaters. Avoid it when it's streaming. It's not worth the tape is is done on. Wow. wow. Mic drop there. I, I didn't think yeah. this day would ever come. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, Dale? Well, I, we, we we celebrate the fact that you give a one. Day, Brian. <laughs> yeah. You give a one point, uh, one popcorn rating. I'm just I'm just kind of sad that you had to spend what two hours on yeah. this. That's two hours of your life. Yeah, you're just not was, getting back. It was pretty grim. Yeah. And then I did another two hours on the film we're going to talk about next. So well, my total uh, viewing output this week yielded very little that was good. Oh, oh no! Oh. All right. So up next is the first Omen. The, the first Omen, and you know, it's hard to believe that the original Omen was almost 50 years ago, wow. 1976. And there have been at least seven remakes or, or tie-ins, however you want to do it. This one is not notable. Uh, as I was leaving, I heard someone behind me say, you shouldn't be laughing at a horror movie. <laughs> and that's the problem with the first Omen. It's risable. I mean... It, it, the young actress, who I will say has the best name of any actress this year, Nell Tiger Free, and she plays a young novitiate who goes for inexplicable reasons to Rome to become a nun. And of course, what she finds out at the convent is horrible things are going on. And in fact, it's all leading up to the birth of the devil. So that's the omen premise. It takes a very long time. The original film isn't even mentioned until the last five minutes of the movie. So they're catching on the coattails, barely. And this film is just a little better than Love Life Sleeting, but not much. I was extremely disappointed. I'm giving it two popcorns because the actress tried hard. And there's a Brazilian actress named Sonia Braga, who was one of the most loveliest women in the world when she was a star in the 1970s. She plays an elderly nun in this, and she is terrifying. So if they're going to build another movie around this, Make they should the... use her character. Yeah. Because yeah. so okay. she was the scariest thing I've seen all weekend. <laughs> and her part is very limited, so she isn't able to help the film very much. So this gets two popcorns because I didn't want to do two one popcorn reviews in the same week. Dale, but you, but you thought about it, <laughs> didn't you? I thought about it. <laughs> this one is pretty bad. Now that's next uh, on Brian's but to Because do of the actresses, I'm giving it a little bit of a boost. Okay. okay. I don't like horror movies. If you were going to give it like four popcorns, I may have been kind of talked into mm, yeah. to watching this, but no. It's, 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 it's all not good. my favorite genre, but a good horror film, a good chill up and down your spine, that's kind of what you go to the movies sure. for right. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun to do that's that in a collective good. environment, too. All right, what about our third film, The Wages of Fear, that's on Netflix? Well, we're working our way up the scale. Um, this has been made twice before. The original, a French film in 1953 with the French star Yves Montand, is one of the greatest suspense films of all time. 
and I'm not kidding, it is right up there with anything that Hitchcock made. The story is simple. It's a bunch of trucks have to carry nitroglycerin through the jungle to get somewhere else where the nitro is needed. That's all you need to know. So it's all about the journey. For some reason, they went in this version from three trucks to two, and that meant there was less suspense. So I really questioned that decision. It's a no-name cast. They're all French actors. It's very watchable. I will give it that. And, of course, the premise is exciting. But considering how good the original was and how interesting the sequel made in 1977 by William Friedkin called Sorcerer. He was the director, of course, of The Exorcist. So he really understands suspense. And that is a great film to go back and watch. This doesn't compare to that, to the first two. So in the race for the three, this definitely comes in third. But compared to the other two movies that I'm reviewing today, <laughs> this is a star. So I'm giving it three popcorns because it, it rises above the competition. On a stronger weekend, it might not have gotten all three. It might have gone down to two because it just takes what was a great premise and dilutes it. Yeah. And so it's just not as effective as the earlier two versions of the same story. And that's not what you want with a sequel. You want to, you want to ramp it up. Mm -hmm. make it better than the original. Mm -hmm. And this is unfortunately going the wrong way. Dale, I, I really appreciate you doing all the hard yeah, work for seriously. us. So, so we don't have to waste our times <laughs> on, on lesser <laughs> films. So uh, we appreciate all your work. Every once in a while, I got to give us a taste of what else is out there. Sure. That isn't that good. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, some weekends, there's just nothing good to look forward yeah. to. And that's why we go to streaming. Exactly. Yeah. Dale, thank you as always for your insight this morning. We had a little bit of everything with the popcorns. <laughs> One, two, and three. Love lies bleeding. First omen and the wages of fear. It goes in order there from <laughs> worse to, to a little bit <laughs> better, yeah. right? Dale, as always, we appreciate his time this morning. And you do have two ways to watch Dale's reviews for maybe some better options if you haven't caught up with them yet on our WXI YouTube page playlist titled Movies in Review or on DaleMPollock.com. Some better options out there to put on your streaming list.